be clear about that. We is in dire fucking straits. And all you niggas can do is fucking fuck me. But I hope they take that shit off. All of that shit. They cause motherfuckers to really get in these streets like they need to. We done read the motherfucking book. How many motherfucking books you gonna read? Oh, you know, the cracker is your enemy. How many motherfucking books do you need to see with them stepping on Africa with, with, with no mercy on our feet? How many books you need? You scared, bitch. Just say it. You need to say anything, nigga. The bitch, shut the fuck up. I wish I could reach through the motherfucking camera and choke the fuck out of you, sissy ass niggas. You understand what I'm saying? We got to get our motherfucking heart up and deal with everybody all around the world can scrap with this bitch. Act like you want to scrap with the motherfucker. You don't even know what you're capable of until you get in the scrap. When you get in the scrap, you realize that the bitch was using deception all along. He was using propaganda to talk you out of the goddamn fight because he don't want to fight because he's scared to death of you. And so the street niggas, those is the core niggas, that's why they lock them up. They don't want them out there on the motherfucking street because they pose the greatest threat. Not the intellectual motherfucker. They can walk around with your bitch ass on campus. They can hire your bitch ass. They don't want to hire the street nigga because they remind him of Nat Turner. He don't conform. He don't want to conform. And he don't want to fuck with you. Revolutionary. I want to fuck with you. That's why I love niggas. Because they understand that the cracker is the enemy. Most of them. A lot of them do. Because they run from these bitches. Soon as they see the motherfucking cracker, they know to bust that left. They know to bust that right and get the fuck out of his face. Because he's the enemy. You bitches ride right up the street. Whistling and shit. You understand? Way back the bitch. That's that intellectual bitch ass nigga. Y'all motherfuckers, they gave it y'all best, and y'all bitches, they went to the bottom.
We don't even want you bitch ass motherfuckers out there to know. But you better believe we deep, bitch. We deep. And so for any motherfucker that think we slip, think we ain't okay. Come here, baby. Come here. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Come here, baby. Daddy love you. Daddy love you. Yes. Yes, daddy. Daddy love you. Daddy love you. Daddy love you. Boy, you're up there every day. Go on, baby. Go on, on that way to that, that, that beautiful day of our liberation. If you think it's a game, if you think that the BPC is not prepared for any motherfucking thing, I promise you, motherfucker, I'll light your bitch ass up like the 4th of motherfucking July. This is not a motherfucking game. I'm sending a motherfucker. Yes, you, nigga. I'm sending that one and out to you. Yes, you. Motherfucker, I will light your motherfucking ass up like a Christmas tree. You pussy ass motherfuckers. I can't wait till it get hot out here. Bitch, we gonna be rolling on these motherfucking streets like motherfucking nigga. Uh, uh, Somalian militia. Bitch, we is ready. It's a new year. The summer of Africa. Wait a minute, do I hear my other name? Oh, baby, don't be jealous. Don't be jealous, baby. Oh, bitch, one of us, baby, is jealous, you know. It's gonna be alright, baby. It's gonna be alright.